Immortal War is the game mode for Naraka tournaments, such as regional scrims, MBPL and the currently ongoing J Cup World Championship. If you want to watch or compete in the future, understanding Immortal War is a great way to start. To play Immortal War outside of China and outside of events, you have to create or join a custom room. Solo Immortal War lobbies have slots for up to 16 players, duo and trio for up to 48. In China, Immortal War is available as a publicly queuable, although time-gated game mode for players ranked solar or higher. Immortal War changes a lot of things compared to ranked, the standard game mode that was formerly known as the Herald's Trial. The two most notable changes affect the economy and soul blooms. The economy refers to how you can get Dark Tide coins and what you can spend them on. This is important because having strong soul jades can make or break a fight, but also for things like upgrades, supplies, moonbanes, and in team games, rebirth charms. In Immortal War, you gain 3k Dark Tide coins when you knock down an enemy. The first blood is awarded with an extra 3k coins, the second blood with an extra 2k, and the third with an extra 1k. You can only get paid for up to two knockdowns per enemy. Questing generates less money compared to ranked. In solos, all yellow quests are removed. In duos and trios, all types of quests are available, but there are less of them on the map. Caves, the ones you can unlock with keys from frogs, contain a lot of money. These features encourage a more aggressive playstyle. Rift dealers in Immortal War have changed items and prices. Random soul jade bags cost 2k in solos and 3k in duos and trios, but the jades inside are guaranteed purple or gold. Upgrades cost 500 more than in ranked. Rebirth charms cost 12k in duos and 16k in trios. Blue moonbanes cost 5k in solos and 8k in duos and trios, and they will run out of time before Yang and Morris appear. You can't buy purple or gold moonbanes, but they will still be casted automatically on a random team as a hostile bot bane. A large portion of the community thinks that moonbanes are a boring, poorly designed mechanic that shouldn't be in the game. This is one out of several reasons why many players hope that Immortal War will replace or partially replace the regular ranked mode outside of China. Bro. Oh. I'm gonna speed. Oh. In Immortal War, you can buy a random purple melee weapon or a random purple ranged weapon from a rift dealer for 7k. This can be good because in this game mode you get less purple items and no legendary items from trolls. In Trio Immortal War, it is common to run full shop discount and coins per second talents on most characters to reduce the effective cost of buyable items by 48 to 54 percent. Taking soul blooms from dead enemies will refill half your blood and two bars of armor. You will also get 10% rage at once and 20% rage over time at 2% per second. This makes Immortal War soul blooms twice as good as in ranked. As a consequence, third party attacks have to be timed and executed with extra care. In Immortal War trios, strong players on certain characters will effectively always have their ultimate up since they can get kills, take flowers, and re-farm it immediately. All of this improves the competitiveness and the viewer experience of tournaments. Young gates spawn at different timings compared to ranked. Certain characters will usually try to enter to win an ISO fight and get the buff. For example, Faria in solos and Transformer comp in trios. Other characters are better equipped to ambush a team trying to enter, such as Viper comp. You can look up the Yang gate spawn times on the Naraka wiki. There is an extra incentive to enter Yang in Immortal War because the box inside has a gold weapon. Immortal War Moros Blessings have different contents, spawn timings and close timings than in ranked. Most notably, purple Moros Blessings contain a buff. In duos and trios, all Moros Blessings need to be unlocked. Their spawn isn't randomized within the golden circle, but centered in the middle. A hero point system forces players to play different champions or team comps. Most tournaments have 6 matches per day. In solos, you typically have to play 5 different characters, so one double pick is allowed. In trios, your team usually gets 12 hero points in total. Any score of a match in which you exceed your team's hero score will be nullified. If your team uses a champion once, it doesn't cost any hero points. But a double pick costs 1 point. A triple pick costs 2 points 
and so on. One way to max out hero points without overcapping is to play your strongest comp in 3 games, your mediocre comp in 2 games and your weakest comp in 1 game. But this will only work if you don't reuse any character across different comps. Hero score isn't used in all tournaments. For example, qualifiers and semifinals of regional scrims may be exempt. In Immortal War solos, the meta champions typically change every season. Character choices depend on balance, map, firefly or no firefly weather, game plan and the player's preference. Some players will base their pick on what their competitors are playing, either to not get singled out or specifically as a counter pick. In trios, the three most established comps are Transformers, Box Comp and Viper Comp. Transformers excel at rotating ults, winning young and getting kills and placement late game. Box Comp is strong off spawn and will commonly try to secure Moros blessings on the map. Tomok's ultimate lets you safely unlock them and you can get it back immediately if you pick up red or blue buff. Viper Comp is strong off spawn and played as a hit and run comp to ambush other teams. Sometimes one of these established comps falls out of meta for a while or we see variations of it popping up. For example, we had a Sandmech arc back when we had 15 instead of 12 hero score and Faria had been buffed. However, if you like watching or playing competitive trios, it is really good to know the three established comps at least. Some teams will still play off meta comps because they collectively can't get a meta comp to work, have a strong one trick on the team or the meta has been disrupted. Scoring is based on kills and placement. These are some commonly used scoring tables for solos and trios. If you want to watch some Immortal War competitions, check out the ongoing J-Cup World Championship live on Naraka Switch. I've been cheering for all the EU players, that is IDK, IDC, Wui and Ryomen, and of course for the Chinese team XCG, who've been featured on my channel last year. If you want to compete in Immortal War, the next competitive season outside of China will probably start around Spring 2024. Follow the official channels to stay up to date. I will cover some of Jacob on my channel and continue to make guides to improve your Naraka experience. Please support me by subscribing and commenting under this video. See you next time!